a good afternoon to one and all present over here. I am here to give a brief introduction about the CADOS model of growth. उससे पहले I would like to give a brief introduction of CADOS actually and his contribution to economic growth and especially to India. Being a very great economist, he was called by our then Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru in during 1950s era. And he was asked to give a model that is actually best suitable for the country for that time to give uh, to actually accelerate the economic growth. So he studied the uh, situation of our economy at that particular time and gave uh, some appropriate time to our economy. And uh, at the end, he gave a book named as an expenditure tax, tax which was published in the year of 1955, and that was actually used by the economy and by the uh, great leaders of that time to improve the situation of our country. He was also called by Mahan Nobis who was the, uh, who was the head of Indian Statistical Institute to give some uh, uh, appropriate suggestions which was required. And his suggestions was proved very relevant for the economy as it was uh, uh, it was given after the, after the thorough study of the then situation of our economy. Now I would like to discuss the uh, brief uh, gist of Caldor's model of growth. <coughs> the starting point of Caldor is the belief that the income of the society is distributed between different classes, each having its own propensity to save. The equilibrium can be brought about only by a just and appropriate distribution of income. In other words, growth rate and income distribution are inherently connected elements. Caldor's model depends on these two elements and their relationships and brings forth and the importance of distribution of income in the process of growth. This is one of the basic merits of Caldor's model. In this model, on the one hand, the relations of distribution of income determine the given level of saving and therefore investment and economic growth rate. <coughs> On the other hand, the achievement of this or definite growth rate requires a given level of investment and therefore of saving and hence a corresponding distribution of income. The heart of Kaldor's theory lies in its demonstration that shift in the distribution of income is essential to bring about the higher saving income ratio, which is the necessary condition for a continued full employment equilibrium with a higher absolute level of investment in real terms. To simplify the reasoning, Kaldor uh, assumed that the marginal propensity to save or wage earners is zero. By uh, putting this uh, uh, MPS equal to zero in the given equation, at the end, end he concluded that the share of profit in income is determined by the share of profit earners, the growth rate and the capital output ratio. Uh, therefore, if the uh, share of profit earners and uh, growth rate is kept constant, then the stability of the share of profit in income will be determined by the stability of capital coefficient. Thus, under Caldor's model, the share of profit, the rate of profit which establishes S and I identity assisted by technical progress function provides a mechanism of growth, stability and dynamics. At the end, he concluded that we need to change the income distribution in the economy. We just can't assume that, that the wage earners consume whole of their income and the profit earners invest and save whole of their, whole of their income. It's something that is imbalanced for the economy. The fact is that the wage earners also save some part of their income and the profit earners also consume their income. So there is a need to change the income distribution in the economy and then only we can hope for some accelerating growth in the country. Thank you. Introduce yourself. I am Muddha Mohini, a net aspirant. I have completed my master's in 2018 from Patna University. What was your position? I am first class first in Patna University 2018 batch. What's your aim of your life? I just want to clear net GRF and to go in the research work and actually to, do, to know more and more economics as much as possible for me. Do, do you like to go in UPSC, IAS? Yes, it's one of my aims, but primarily I am for the teaching sector and I just want to know the economics and to spread economics, actually. It's my favorite subject. You, you want to become teacher? 
yeah i want to uh, become teacher because i think this is the only medium via which we can uh, we can uh, eradicate every problems of the country without education we can't even think ki we, we can uh, do or execute in a single step so i think teaching is the best uh, contraceptive and teaching is the best medicine of any economy to extirpate it do you like research work higher research work to remove poverty unemployment yes, yes, yes. in developing like countries and developed countries less developed countries yes i think a research only can solve the problem of poverty and especially in the country like india which is actually investing so much in the economy but is not getting the exact result which is needed and which uh, uh, which uh, which it requires at the time so i think research will only eradicate all such problems and for this we need really skilled and Uh, like meritorious researchers in our field thank you our good wishes to you taliyan thank you so much sir jor se taali bajaiye